Hello, and thank you for your interest in applying to the Louisiana Main Street Recovery Program. If you visit our website, www.louisianamainstreet.com, you may select Apply Now. On the Apply Now page, you will find details on how to best prepare before you begin the application. We encourage you to gather the information and any documents you may need before you start an application. When you are ready, you may begin your application from this page. You may then scroll to the bottom of this screen and select Apply Now. This will bring you to the page where you may start the application. There will be two options on the screen. If you are a new user and have not yet submitted an application, you will use the option on the right. If you have logged in and started your application, or you would like to log in and check your application status, you will use the option on the left. We will be signing up for the application as a new user. At this time, you will need to sign up by creating an email and password. At this time, please enter your current email address, as this will be the way that you will receive communications about the program. Once you have entered your email address and created a password, you will hit sign up. At this point, you will be at our confirm your contact information screen. If you notice in the stop in the top right hand corner, you will see that you are at step one of 11. At any time, you may save your draft and exit. When you have filled out this information, you will hit Next. At this time, you will be on Step 2 of 11. You may fill out your business applicant information. Again, at any time, you may save your draft and exit. If you have an additional business name, you will enter it into the second field. In the third field, you will select your type of business. You will then need to type in your social security number and the date of formation or creation of your business. You will enter your business phone number. At any time, if you have questions about what to put in the field, you may utilize the question mark. This is help text and will help you move through this question. You have now moved on to the business domicile address section. For more information, again, you may hit the question mark. You are now at the business mailing address screen. Please note that any payments for approved grant awards will be mailed to the business mailing address that you provide in this section.
At this time, you are at the Additional Business Information screen. Please note that we are asking for three kinds of information here. It is possible that your business may not have a Workforce Commission Employer ID number. If that is the case, you may put NA in this section. It is also possible that your Louisiana Department of Revenue account ID number is your Social Security number. If that is the case, you may put your Social Security number in this section. If you have any questions as to where to find this information for your business, you may visit our website at www.louisianamainstreet.com. If you hover over the menu and click in the top right corner, you will notice our frequently asked questions and eligibility requirements. By clicking on the frequently asked questions, you will be brought to a page that explains these three numbers. It also provides links to access this information for your business. At this time, you will have to enter your industry category code. You may use the search bar at the top of this section to, to locate the appropriate code for your business. This information will be automatically populated after you select the industry in the search bar. You are now at step four of 11. Again, please remember at any time you may save your draft and exit. This question is asking if your business is organized for profit, performing a commercially useful function and at least 50% owned by one or more minority individuals, women or veterans who also control and operate the business. Please note that being a minority, woman, and or veteran-owned business is not a requirement of this program. If you select yes, more options will appear on the screen. You will be able to fill these out as yes or no questions. If you select no, you will be able to move to the next screen. You are now at step five of 11. Again, at any time, you may save your draft and exit. At this stage, you will enter in the business owners for your business. To be eligible for a grant award, the business must have at least 50% ownership by a Louisiana resident. At this time, you can enter in all business owners. your owner type, whether it is an individual or entity business. And that owner's full name and information will go into these fields. If you select entity, you will also put owner information in these fields. If the owner is an entity, you will have an employer identification number. If it is not an entity, you are not required to fill out this field. You may also use all zeros or all nines. If you do not have an EIN number.
please note that Louisiana is a top option. The next question that you'll see is asking if the owner is an active participant in the, applica the applicant's day-to-day -day operations. At this point, you can enter in the Louisiana driver's license number for this applicant. If the owner is an entity, you can select NA. At this time, you may also upload a copy of your Louisiana driver's license. Another option is if the business owner is a veteran, you may also upload a copy of the DD214 form here. You will then hit save. If you have additional owners, you can then select the Add Business Owner option and fill out this information for every owner of the business. After all business owners have been added to this screen, please select Next. You are now at Step 6 of 11. Please remember at any time you may save a draft of this application and exit. We will now go through the eligibility questions. Our first question, was the business domiciled in Louisiana as of March 1st, 2020? Is the business in good standing with the Louisiana Secretary of State? If the business is a sole proprietorship and not required to register with the Louisiana Secretary of State, please select yes. Did the business suffer an interruption of business caused by forced or voluntary closures or restricted operations due to social distancing measures, decreased customer demand, cleaning or disinfecting expenses, and provide personal protective equipment? If your business suffered an interruption of business caused by one of these, you will select yes. Question number four, is the business at least 50% owned by one or more Louisiana residents, whether individual resident citizens or Louisiana domestic business entities? Question five, did the business file Louisiana taxes for tax year 2018 or 2019 or a tax deadline extension for 2019? Or if the business was formed or created between January 1st, 2020 and March 1st, 2020, does it intend to file Louisiana taxes for tax year 2020? We are now on question 5A. Did the business file Louisiana taxes for the tax year 2018? Did the business file Louisiana taxes for the tax year 2019 or a tax deadline extension for 2019? If you select yes for either of these questions, a box will pop up that will ask you to upload a copy of your filed 2019 federal income tax return or your tax deadline extension if 2019 tax return has not yet been filed you will select Choose File. This will then open up on your computer and allow you to select the file that you would like to upload. As you can see, I have selected a file and it has now been uploaded to the system. We are now moving to step 5C. Was the business formed or created between January 1st, 2020 and March 1st, 2020? This means, was your business a new business that was formed this year in 2020? Question six, does the business have customers or employees coming to its physical premises? 
Again, at any time you need help with these questions, you may hover on the question mark to receive help text on how to answer the question. You may also visit our frequently asked questions on our louisianamainstreet.com website. There are several answers to these questions here that will help you in filling out the application. Please note that at any time you select no, you will receive text at the bottom of the screen. This text is letting you know that based on your answer, your business is not eligible to receive funds. Did the business have more than 50 full-time equivalent employees as of March 1st, 2020? Again, if you need help with this question, there is a question mark that will allow you to read more about the response and question being asked. Again, you may also visit our frequently asked questions at louisianamainstreet.com. Question number eight, is the business a subsidiary of a business with more than 50 full-time equivalent employees, part of a larger business enterprise with more than 50 full-time equivalent employees, or owned by a business with more than 50 full-time equivalent employees? Again, the help text here will help you to answer this question. Question number nine, does the business exist for the purpose of advancing partisan political activity or directly lobby federal or state officials? And question 10, does the business derive income from passive investments without active participation in the business operations? Again, if more help is needed with this question, you may hover over the question mark. You may also visit our frequently asked questions at louisianamainstreet.com. Once you have answered all of these questions, you will hit next. You are now on step seven of 11. At any time, you may save your draft and exit. You may then come back and enter the application information at a later time. You're now on the other sources of COVID-19 related funding screen. Has the business received any funds from the U.S. Business, Small Business Administration Paycheck Protection Program? If you select yes, at this time, you will need to enter the amount of PPP loan funds received. Please note that this field will only let you enter numbers and decimals. Please do not try to put commas or dollar signs in this field. Question two. Has the business received any funds from the U.S. Small Business Administration Economic Injury Disaster Loan or an EIDL Emergency Advance? Has the business received any reimbursement from any other federal program for the expenses for which the applicant is seeking reimbursement from a Louisiana Main Street Recovery Program grant? Again, if you select yes, you will enter the amount of other federal funding received. This field must only contain numbers and decimals. Please do not put a comma or a money sign in this field. Also on this question, you will need to describe the source of the reimbursements from other federal programs. Question four, do you maintain a business interruption insurance policy? 
At this time, you will see that the numbers that you have put into this page have added up to calculate your total other funds received from COVID-19 sources. You will then hit next. This is where you will enter the kinds of grant or fund requests you would like. Please note that you may have two choices or one choice depending on how you answered your question. This page will give you more information as to what grant funds are available based on quick relief, which is an option that allows eligible applicants to receive grants in an amount no more than $5,000. The quick relief option is eligible for applicants to receive grants in an amount not to exceed $5,000. Quick Relief is available to applicants that meet all general eligibility requirements and received $1,000 or less in federal funding or other assistance. Rather than providing any itemized expense amounts or supporting documentation, the only thing that you must provide is your tax return for 2019 or 2018 as was filed with the United States Department of the Treasury. Your quick relief award amount will be calculated by multiplying your total annual expenses as shown on your most recent tax return times the proportion of current calendar year for which the applicant has experienced an interruption of business. Then any prior federal assistance received will be subtracted from the quick relief award. Down below, you'll have the option to select the quick relief button. You will then enter the date the applicant's business interruption started. This date should, no, should be no earlier than March 1st, 2020. You will then enter the date the applicant's business interruption ended. If your business interruption is still going, please enter today's date. You will then enter your total annual expense amount as reported on your most recent federal income tax return. Please note that you may select the question mark to understand where to find this information on your federal income tax return. Please note that this field will only accept numbers and decimals. You cannot enter a dollar sign or a comma into this field. You may also have the ability to do an itemized eligible expense grant award as well. Or two, an itemization of eligible expenses. If you select this option, you will need to submit any eligible expenses which forms a basis for calculating your grant funding. More information can be found on this on our Frequently Asked Questions page. Based on the answers to the questions, the options that are here are itemized eligible expenses. If you feel that you maybe have answered a question in error and would like to go back at any time before submitting your application, you may select back. In this example, we are going to say that no PPP funds were received. Again, the options for which you are eligible will appear at the bottom of the screen.
If you are submitting itemized eligible expenses, you will need to fill out the information below. Your eligible expense period start date is the date for which your eligible expenses are submitted in this application. Your eligible expense period end date is the end date for eligible expenses submitted in this application. Now you will fill out the information below. For every expense that you fill out, you may need to upload an invoice. You will select Choose File and pull the information from your computer to upload. As you can see, the file has now been uploaded. If you need to upload more than one file, you have two options. You may put all of your files into one document and upload that document here. If you need help with this process, your local library or Office Depot, Kinko's, FedEx, Staples can help you with this. If you would like, you also may only upload one document here and may up upload additional documents at the end of your application. I will point out where that will be. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a total of the itemized expenses for which you are claiming in this application. You are now at step nine of 11. Has the business submitted a prior grant application to the program? You are now at step 10 of 11. Please remember at any time you may save your draft and edit it and come back to the application. The information that you see on your screen is the federal funding certification and agreement to hold harmless and indemnify. Please read this information carefully. At this time, you will need to select that you certify under penalty of law that you have read the statements in the application and all of the information that you have submitted is true and correct to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief, and that you are the authorized representative of this business. You will then need to select your signature date. You may do this by clicking on the calendar or by entering the date in the signature date field. A box will now pop up with your authorized representative capacity. You will select whether you are the owner or executive officer, a CPA, accountant, or attorney, or other authorized professional agent, or other. If you have any questions about this or need any federal guidance for a more detailed explanation of eligible expenditures, you may visit these two websites below. At this time, you may upload any additional information. It will also let you know if any information has not been uploaded, which is required. If you have any additional files that you would like to upload to your application, you may do it by selecting Add Attachment and uploading information here.
you will then be able to hit next to submit your application. Please remember, if you have any questions about this process, we encourage you to visit www.louisianamainstreet.com. On this webpage, if you go to our menu option in the top right of the screen, you can find information on eligibility requirements, frequently asked questions, key program dates, press kits, how to apply, application assistance, resource center guidance, and contact information. We would like to point you to our resource center at this time. In the resource center, you will find content and guides that are easily available for you to print. If you would like detailed instructions, step by step, on how to set up an account and complete an application to the Louisiana Main Street Recovery Program, you will select the user guide and select download. This will allow you to print a document that will help you to fill out your application. Please note that at the bottom of every screen on our LouisianaMainStreet.com webpage, will point you to our call center phone number. Our call center is available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Saturday and Sundays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. We encourage you to use the resources on this website if you have any questions about the program and the process. Thank you very much for your time today.